Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at another example of how we can use the quadratic formula to help us solve a quadratic equation. Remember, we wanna use the quadratic formula when we're trying to find out the x-intercepts for a quadratic function. So let's go ahead and dive right into an example problem where we can see how we can use this formula. Now I have the equation here, 2x squared minus 3x minus five, and it equals zero. And I wanted to solve this equation for x, and I wanna solve it by using the quadratic formula. So the first thing that I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to determine what the a, the b, and the c terms are so I can plug those values into my quadratic formula. Well, looking here at the equation, I can now figure out what my a term, what my b term, and what my c term are going to equal. Remember that the a term is the coefficient for the x squared variable. I'm looking here at the x squared variable and I see that there is a two out in front, so a equals two. b is the coefficient for the x term. And I see that my coefficient here is negative three. Again, don't forget that negative term. Super important that we remember that. Finally, C represents our constant, the number all by itself. I see that that value is negative five. So I know that A is two, B is negative three, and C is negative five. I can now use the quadratic formula to solve for these two x-intercepts. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and write x equals. I'm gonna draw my long fraction bar here. And I know that the first thing I'm gonna write is negative of my b term. In this case, our b term is negative three. So I'll be sure to put that in parentheses and to include the negative inside so that I remember once I'm simplifying that it'll be the negative of negative three. Now the next step says plus or minus the square root of b squared. Again, my b here was negative three, so I know I'll take negative three and I'll need to square it. Now I have to subtract four times a times my c, and my a term here was two, so I know I'll have the two first, followed by our c term, which is negative five, and that is all over two times a. In this case, two times two. So again, this might seem challenging at first glance. It's an equation that has a lot of things going on. But again, as we start to simplify the quadratic formula, we want to just go from term to term and simplify what we can as we move through this problem. So the first thing I'm going to take notice of is that I have negative of negative three. That means I'm going to have negative times negative three, that's gonna turn into a positive three. So far, so good. All right, I have the square root of negative three squared. Well, negative three times negative three will turn into positive nine. Now, as I look over here to the right, I see that I have negative four times two times negative five. And negative four times the negative five was going to turn into a positive 20. And 20 times two will turn into 40. So I know that the top of that fraction in that radical has now simplified to nine plus 40. All over four, because we had two times two. Now as I start to move through this again, you're noticing from the first step to the second step, a lot has simplified just by going from one term to the next and seeing what we can do. Now, I think I can start to simplify what's underneath that radical. Underneath that radical, I see that I have three plus or minus the square root of nine plus 40. I think nine plus 40 is gonna give us 49, all over four. And again, as I start to simplify this through, I recognize that the square root of 49 is seven. So I know that my next step here is going to be writing three plus or minus seven, since seven times seven makes 49, all over four. And here's the part which is very important for when you're using the quadratic formula that we have to remember that it's going to now split into two different equations. One equation is going to have, whoops, 
one equation is going to have the numerator as an addition problem, 3 plus 7 over 4, while the other is going to have the numerator as a subtraction problem, 3 minus 7 over 4. And now all I have to do is simplify the numerator and divide by 4, and we will know what these two x-intercepts are. So I'll solve the one on the left first. 3 plus 7, that's going to make 10 over 4. And 10 over 4 is going to reduce to the fraction 5 over 2. If I really want to write that as a decimal, I could say 2.5. That is our first x-intercept. I know that that parabola crossing the x-axis, the first point it's going to hit is at 2.5. Now it's going to hit another x-intercept, and that's why I need to solve this one here. I know that 3 minus 7 on the numerator will become a negative 4 divided by 4, which will reduce to negative 1. So that is how we use the quadratic formula to help us find the two x-intercepts for any quadratic equation. Again, all you have to do is determine what your a, your b, and your c terms are, substitute them into that formula, and then start to simplify as you move from one line to the next. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.